Hi, welcome to this week of the mini series. We're glad you're here. We're very excited. We're back from a break week. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, that gave you some time to catch up on um, some of your blocks that maybe you'd fallen behind on. Yeah. Maybe you sewed ahead into this week. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe you went on vacation. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you went, went to Germany. Who knows? Maybe I went to Germany. There's no telling. <laughs> There's really. just no telling. We'll see what happens. Absolutely. <laughs> Today we're talking about my personal favorite block, and I think a favorite for a lot of us. Yeah, yeah pineapple block. A lot of people's favorite. It's pineapple. a pretty great one. Yeah. yeah, lots of really cool things you can make with this one. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and then in tandem with that, mm -hmm. um, kind of its cousin. Yeah. A little hexagon yeah. step too. Yeah. Lots little, of similarities between. The very, two very much actually. lots of similarities between the two of them, but mm -hmm. in very fun, cool ways. Mm -hmm. Almost like this. Almost feels like a like a sci-fi version of the pineapple, like a modern day version of the yeah, pineapple, which yeah, I really I like a lot. So. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So we'll be talking about both of these more in tandem kind of together in tandem with because one it's another. a lot of the same information for both. Yeah, they both get constructed basically the same exact mm -hmm. way. They just have really different looks to one another. So. Yep, and then we have lots of examples to show for these. Yes. Lots of good variations on these two. I think that's what part of the fun of, this, of these two especially also is how many things you can do to get a different look with the sizes and how you differentiate foreground and background and all that. So Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, start with the one start with pineapple? Sure. So for pineapple, we have two kinds of ways that you can think about the pineapple. There are like these two kinds of like accessies that you can sort of play with, if you will. So there's the, um, I'm gonna get a little closer. There is the diagonal, which I've kind of drawn here. That's what you get when you put the when the foreground is um kind of like on on the x right so we have these kind of things coming out from the center and again it's kind of working on an x so i think of this as an x and then there's a variation that where you can do the plus which i'll show you in just a second let's grab that guy yeah so this one down here is thank you kind of the plus version of it right so instead of going up to the sides it's pieced exactly the same way right Everything is, you know, like this is just the foreground in this one, and this is, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So this is kind of drawn on the plus axis, if you will. That's totally not the right word for it, but you get yeah. the idea. So background and foreground are flipped. They're flipped, flipping basically. Spaces. Yeah, they're just switching spots. But it gives spots. it a different look. It one definitely that, does. One appears more as a plus, and one appears more as a... An X. X. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you did the corners differently. This, so yeah, for this we snowball the corners. So okay. the thing that's nice about doing the plus sign variation of this block is that you can just, instead of like all of the kind of intricate piecing that happens at the edge here, you can just snowball the corner and put one piece of fabric over all of those last little blades. So that's like a nice little way to um, not have to piece all those little subsections if you don't want to. A little bit of a time saver. Little time saver, yeah. Mm -hmm. No big deal either way. Nope, absolutely. So Um, then, um, let me see, where's we're going to talk about? Oh, well, you we're going to talk about the efficiency. Yeah, thing. so yeah, both yeah. of these blocks, talking about their similarities again, both of the blocks um, have a lot in common. For one thing, they're both great with uh, fussy cutting something for the center. Mm -hmm. This is a cool example of the salvage. I think I mentioned this in no, some no, video. video. Yeah. Um, uh, this has a, a Giuseppe space logo salvage thing, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's kind of fun. Um, both of these blocks, you can do that. You can expand the sizes a bit to fit more. Here's another example. This is from, which is, what's that line? That called? was from Declassified. Declassified. So you have this cool little bit in the center and you, the center is a bit bigger on this. You use two yeah, spaces I, I for think, that? I actually think I just enlarged that pattern a little oh, bit to be able to, to fit, fit the, in this. Yeah, to okay. fit for that size. So you can either um, combine sections like we talked about mm -hmm. in a previous video or you can, um, uh, you probably wouldn't make the block bigger unless you were doing something really Unless you were doing something specific, but, yeah. But sure. if you wanted to, you definitely could do that. Yeah. What else do we have? Um, this one is another mm -hmm. little fussy cut little thing in the center there. The, so the center of the hexagon step and the pineapple, are, they're a little bit larger than mm -hmm. the other blocks in the series. And they work well for it. And um, the, this again the using... The hexagon step, you could, well I guess this one, this one, it's not combined, but you could combine you could, it to You could make triangle. it into like a triangle if you wanted to. Yeah, you can to. kind of guess what that would look like by looking at this as an mm -hmm. example. So both of them are good for those reasons. They're both also, um, you can sew them um, a bit efficiently by doing what we talked about with the courthouse step, which was sewing anything that's marked section two, you can sew, you can piece and trim and press 
any of those sections simultaneously. So it doesn't matter which order they go in. Um, same with pineapple and hexagon steps. So you would piece, yeah, it's, yeah, this is set up that way. How smart, that's really good. That's yeah. really clever. <laughs> uh, I know. Um, so you could do all of section two together at the same time, mm -hmm. all of section three together at the same time. It'll get a little easier as you go out, like, because there's more pieces in the center for this one than there is in courthouse steps, so. It's tight. It's a little it's tight in the beginning, but once you get a little bit further out, then it becomes really easy to add all four sides, trim all four sides, and press all four sides. Okay. Yeah. And that, and that works for pineapple and hexagon. And for hexagon step. Okay, so we've got yeah. another similarity between the two, another great way to increase the efficiency as you're showing. And the, uh, the, the way that this is constructed is literally exactly the same as the courthouse step block, just with some mm -hmm. minor variations. So it's basically just more pieces and more turns. So with courthouse step, you're adding two pieces at a time, trimming two pieces at a time, pressing. With the pineapple block and the hexagon step, for hexagon step it's three sides, for the pineapple it's four, um, and then all you're doing is adding a rotation as well. Right. So it's like double the amount of pieces, or more, that's actually kind of quadruple the, side, the pieces, I think, but yeah. whatever, don't let, that doesn't matter, don't let it freak you out. Um, but you're basically just adding more pieces and more turns to mm -hmm. create a different look, but the process of putting the fabric down and everything, it's exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, and, it's, and it, it builds pretty quickly too when you're working in multiples like that. So you're kind of, you feel like you're getting more done faster. Absolutely. Right? So that's the, an exciting part of that. The pineapple block is the best too for as you watch it, it like grows and changes a lot as you go. I think that's why I make it so often because it like really kind of, it kind of blooms as it goes, mm -hmm. it grows a lot, mm -hmm. um, which is a really fun little thing. Yeah, definitely, really, really fun. You um, want to show some variations yeah, on the blocks? Sure. I think so. We have, we have lots of examples of, of pineapples because we really like them a lot. Here's a beautiful one by Allison. Actually our friend Jana made Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, uh, uh, Jana in Virginia Beach made this. Carly Porter quilted it beautifully. Um, and it's just a great example of, it's a, a, pretty much a whole cloth quilt with a really stunning um, focal point in it. This is the full size version of the pineapple. Mm -hmm. That's a sun print fabric, so this is a, a fabric collection, so this is a great example of what a color gradation looks like. But you don't always have to start with pink or purple, you can start with Totally. Start wherever you want. With, uh, I mean, this starts with the greens, and that way you get bigger pieces of the greens. And, and along with true. that line, with mm -hmm. um, for this one here, same idea. Like start starting in a different spot. This one does the same thing. It's mm -hmm. the same order, but these sides here start in a different spot than these do here. Mm -hmm. So same idea as mm -hmm. like you know what you were saying. Like it's the same order. Nothing is different. The only thing that's different is where it's beginning. Yeah. So this like this side just got flipped around in another way. So that's, oh, that's another cool. fun little. See, I didn't notice that. It's just like a subtle little thing. But it, it does add a bit. It adds of a little kind of yeah, like there's a like a kind of like a wavy interest. thing that, yeah. that happens okay, with it. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Um, <laughs> this is a chroma. Um, yeah, this is, is yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Chroma? I, did, I made that chocolate thing. This is your fabric. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, cute plastic cut thing in the center, and then some solids, but but in different colors. And this one, too, nice. is actually that plus axis block that we talked about. If you look at it, it's just turned on point. This is a plus. It just gets rotated so that when it's on in the pillow, it's... Um, it looks like still a traditional pineapple with it coming mm -hmm. in the X way, if you will. Did you show those? That's like my favorite one. Yeah, we like this one. I really want to make a patch for a hat for this. I would really like to just like applique it to a hat. I think it'd be really That's cute. Okay. But I get too sweaty and I would just ruin the block. Oh, so yeah. it seems like really like a shame. Do I don't want to do that. Yeah, no. just frame it and put it on the wall. I could. And you could just look at it. I could just stare at it. It's yeah. pretty much what I do right now. It's just like a jumbled up mess on my pegboard. So <laughs> Here's another one. This was made with my nonna fabric. Um, from a, from a year or two ago. So those are some versions of the pineapple. You want to show a couple of hexagon steps? I do. Uh, did I yes. miss any of the pineapple ones? I think I got them. No, I just, did you talk about drawing the lines on the back? I did. Okay, great. Yeah. See, don't remember. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, hexagon step. So this is one, this is a season two block, right? So there's, you know, that's um, one version that Allison was showing you before. You can make that triangle there. Um, what should we call it and um, make that bigger if you wanted to this one really doesn't make a difference like kind of which direction you go in in terms of like it's it's broken up into threes so it doesn't really make a difference but there's a fun variation that we were just talking about that I'd really like to make that I haven't had the chance to yet somebody did do a version of this in the last so long but I wanted to play with the variation on it where since this breaks up into six sections it's kind of a fun idea to 
make it kind of like a color wheel. So, you know, have this section be red into orange, into yellow, green, blue, purple. But I thought it'd be really nice to kind of um, like gradate the value of it as well, to start with a really, really light value of those colors in the center and work your way out so that it would be a color wheel, but that like a real color yeah, wheel where, where it's it would, where like with the value, yeah, yeah kind of like, yeah, that could be, be kind of fun. That's a lot of different fabrics. It would be a lot of different yeah, fabrics, yeah. That'd be fun though. <laughs> I, I don't even know how many fabrics that would be. Probably like 60 fabrics. It would be a lot. That'd be phenomenal. <laughs> Let's do it. One of these days. Um, I love this variation. Yeah, I this is a fun I think this one looks so different. That one is a really, so this is basically just, um, that idea that I was just talking about mm -hmm. with like low value in the center working out to a, a higher value fabric, mm -hmm. um, but they're all the same, right? It's yeah. just like one fabric. This is from like my Infernal collection. So it's one colorway of that and it starts light, gets darker as it goes all the way out. Um, so this is what I'm talking about doing for that, but it would just be all the different colors all the way around. But I like this one because you end up seeing, you know, this shape so much more. It's like you, it kind of dials back the radioactive That's look. true, actually. It gives it like uh, a prettier look than yeah, the other it's, it's one. Like it's, a, it's, not, it's a little softer, yeah. exactly. And mm -hmm. I think this version is what you and I talked about that ended up leading to the blue, to the blue block, block for season three. Because we thought this was so lovely and how kind of floral it looks, mm -hmm. you know, and the, and the growing of it. Um, yeah, so that, that led to that block, which yeah. is a nice block, too, that we'll get to. I, I think next, next week, I think maybe. I think it is next week. I think so. Yes. Um, here's another, that's kind of like a more traditional version of the hexagon step, you know, like the kind of the cover version of it. Mm -hmm. And then there's one more to show you. This is that same idea as that last one. Um, the only difference being this, whereas the other one, it starts light and works its way out. This one goes back and forth mm -hmm. and starts, three of them start light and go dark in. Yeah. And then it's reversed, mm -hmm. light in and goes dark out. Yeah. It's a fun block because it looks so different depending on Super how different. you yeah. decide to do the fabrics. Absolutely. Really, really, uh, really good one. So, yeah. yeah. Those are this week's blocks. Those are this week's blocks. Again, just building on the floor and not anything too tricky. Nope. Just, it's just, again, yeah, exactly that. It's like with that skill builder thing, just progressing and kind of, mm -hmm. you know, it's um, practicing efficiency is a great thing to work on this week. Um, um, that lighter weight thread that we talk about, Deco Bob, that's a really nice one for the pineapple block because there's a lot of seams in mm -hmm. this one. So that's a nice thing. It kind of reduces a lot of bulk. Mm -hmm. But that's about all you need to dive into this week. Great. Yeah. Fun. Cool. Okay. We can't wait to see what you make. This is going to be a fun one. Yeah, definitely. Good week. Yeah. Good week. Cool. Bye.